Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV. What is happening? I think like, I don't know. Maybe I need to clean the lens. Or is it just my ugly face? Could be my ugly face. I have no idea. But it just looks like it's like, like foggy. Not foggy, but time out. Let me figure out if I can. Yeah, that didn't help any, I don't think. But now I'll take this. It's my face. My face. I'm, it's screwed up. Nothing I can do about it. I got the ugly face syndrome. Damn it. Okay, so uh, got another RMA sitting here. We're going to get started on this one. I'm going to try to save my... Well, that don't help. I hate wasting these alcohol wipes. Next thing you know, we have something stupid like a pandemic and everybody's got to run an alcohol wipe. Nah, it's too far-fetched. That would never happen. What am I talking about? Jeez. I got to quit letting my... My mind get the best of me. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking conspiracy theories. All right, got an RMA here. Um, customer says uh, we need to something about his receivers not communicating with his with his radio. It was, then it stopped, and then if we can fix that, then can we can we also get the? Um, oops, I think I just hit my other camera. My bad. What is going on with my camera? Get this off of here. Forget it. You can't see what I'm looking at. There's this crap on the screen. It's like a message. All right, so we have uh, the HLRC sector. Here we go. Uh, this is, uh, what's going on back here? Okay, so we have a pinched wire already. I can see it. Right back here, we have a pinched wire. Okay, oh, you can't see this. Sorry, guys. My bad. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all, and it's like, hey, look, show us what you're talking about. So right here, the wire is pinched. They are pinched right back there. Okay, uh, as far as this goes, Okay, so we've got the TBS Crossfire. And, all right, let's just check it out. I mean, help. Let's just get it to work, okay? That's, I think the main thing, and he's got a Radio Master radio. Oh, my. There's more of this box of goodies. Radio Master, oh, it's got a Cyclone strap. Bro, that is what I'm talking about. I love when I see the straps that we provide. Look at that, boom! So you have the hat and the shirt and everything else under the sun. All right, what's all these messages? I got my kids home today soon, so I'm keeping track. All right, all right, here we go. So let's go ahead and open this up. First thing we're gonna do is, let's just check the wiring because there's a couple things here that concern me. The main thing right now is I can see a wire pinched uh, between the standoff there. I don't like it. Uh, and if you look right here, it's, it's right here on the, it's right in between this here. And so we've got a pinched wire there. Uh, second thing is there's really no reason to have that standing that tall, so you don't have to double up. Uh, so let me just go ahead and remove this all together. We're going to zoom through these, I hope. Uh, my, my goal here is to, I want to knock everybody's out. I am going to turn into a huge drone repair center. That is where we're headed with this. We are going to make our service center, I mean, it's big. We have a lot of, of room here. We have 7,500 square feet in this building uh, that we built, and then we have eight and a half acres outside. And it's all fun in retail, but service center is where it's at. Uh, now that I realize that most places don't even do service. So we're gonna focus on that, and I, you'll hear me say this more, more times in my videos. Um, and by doing that, we're gonna be able to take care of people uh, much faster and also limit who we sell to. So you're about to start seeing it. Uh, we're gonna get very limited on who we sell to. Um, we're gonna discount a lot of our inventory to get rid of some of the stuff. And then after that, um, we're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pick and choose who I sell to. That's basically what it's gonna come down to. So if you have a good history with us, we'll continue to sell. If you don't, or you want to start arguments and stuff, well, then we're just going to ask you kindly to shut your face and go somewhere else. Pretty much simple. It's pretty pretty easy rules. Okay, so um, I think first thing he said is that he lost communication with his uh, with his um, TBS. So what I want to do? Oh my God, I got too much stuff going on here. here. So let me go ahead and put the TBS in. Okay. Oh, no. Tell me. Did you say, is nobody shipping batteries anymore? Ah, okay, fine. So I'll just put my battery in here. We're going to start with these things one at a time. And what I'd like to do first is address the... Um, And if anybody gets my batteries, if I ever forget these, please send them back. <laughs> I like my stuff too. All right. OpenTX. 
Let's get these things Switch put. Warning. Switch warning. Be quiet. There we go. Okay. So let's look at a few things here and clear a couple things up. Um, the Okay, the white wire needs to be going to port one. Uh, uh, and it is, and here. Okay, so this is right. It's just weird to me because the color coding here is weird, right? So on his on on the on the Cadix, the TX is white. But on the on the TBS, the TX is yellow, so it's very confusing because it's almost you know like I want to keep it consistent. I'm just going to clean it up just because if I'm going to work on it, I got to make sure that I can tell my work here. So first thing we're going to do is let me get my um, uh, there we go. Let's get our flux pens and let's just clean some of this up here real quick. There's a lot of solder on here that I just want to look at. Um, at the same time. I don't see a reason why this shouldn't be communicating, but I'm not sure yet. Uh. <sighs> okay. necessarily cleaned up from the last repair I just did which is going to haunt me here in just a second because my desk is a little alright so let's just I'm just going to remove and put back just so I can clean up a few things and get these pointed parts of the of the pads the solder down to just dull rounded now I'm going to swap this and this so that they match so let me Go. All right. Okay. Now on the receiver, because I swapped it, now I need to go to the receiver. And I'm going to swap these two, but I'm not going to... I don't run the wires through the hole like that. Uh, it's just never been my thing because it means that they don't lay flat see and I don't like I mean there's no nothing sealed here but I just don't like having that extra so this is just more of a cosmetic thing for me uh, but it is the way I do it so let me see if I can um, I need to just get these wires out I may have to use a helping hands for this but let me just see if I can just heat it up and pull it Oh, need the helping hands. All right, here we go. Helping hands is now in full effect, kind of. Here we go, and there we go. So that one's out, that one's out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ground and the power too, just because I want them to be wired the way I would normally wire them. I'm gonna go ahead and seal it so I guess I'll leave the helping hands here for now so what I'm gonna do is um, like I said yellow is to the TX uh, I don't like well, I guess he's leaving that on the bottom I don't know I mean like hmm. whatever so uh, first of all these are way too long these need to be half about half that length right there right there Okay, I'll leave that. Not all of them, I guess. There, some of them are fine. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more solder. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and start from the outside in. And since yellow is TX, or sorry, since white is TX, apologize. On the uh, Cadix, we're gonna make white the TX on the uh, receiver here as well, just to keep things consistent. Okay. Here we go. One. Two.
three. Set that aside. I have full confidence in that, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat shrink this now because the last thing I want to do is mess up this crossfire. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it in like this, and we're gonna come and come over the antenna this way. I need a new pair of scissors. My scissors suck. I cannot cut anything with these scissors. So let me just use my snips. I guess I can turn the radio off right now. All right. I'm gonna get these goofy glasses off my head in just a second. First things first, let's just put this in here and make sure that we have a good connection and we have it also protected, okay? There. So now let's heat that up. Take these off, put these on, turn this over and heat this up. Beautiful, beautiful, y'all. Okay, so far so good. We are on track to make miracles happen. All right, oops, now. Uh, all right, checking out this area here. This all looks fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, it's got the nine volt wired here, that's fine. No problem there. Um, I, you know, I'll tell you this though. Uh, I would change this, all right? I, I'm not, I, actually, I don't like this, um, but it's it's a preference thing, but here's the deal. If you have a battery pad, use that, okay? <coughs> <coughs> There's no reason why you shouldn't, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put his, um, I'm gonna take it off the designated nine volt, and I'm gonna go to here. Actually, let me use my tweezers up. I mean, the Caddx voltage range is so wide-ranged that there's no reason why you should not use it. Now, if you're running an air unit, fine. Maybe if you're running an air unit, that's your choice. But on this one, I would leave that there. And then uh, just, I think we have enough length here, right? Yeah, I, I guess the ground will have to stay where it was because it's definitely not, I don't think it's going to reach. So let me just put the ground back. All right, good. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we've got our CADEX hooked up to the battery terminal, uh, which is going to be better. Okay, now, this gentleman has put... Uh, the uh, screws here. Uh, which has... Well, now, I'm curious if I'm going to have enough length here to make this work. Because now I'm wondering if he did that because he couldn't make it reach. Which I guess would make more sense. Maybe I need to think this through a little bit better first. Okay. We've got too much crap going on here. Um, I guess I may extend the wire then. But I don't see a reason to still not have it. Alright, let's, let's get started with what we're supposed to have down here first. I assume the gentleman was putting his transmitter down here or his receiver down here so I'm going to start with that um, and I think what I'll do is I will double side it tape it to right here so let's do that okay thing we need to do is figure out what we're doing with all of these mumbo jumbo wires. Okay. So all 
All right, I'm not gonna fight with this thing. I'm just gonna remove the wire and put a longer one. Let's just make it easy. So, there we go, that's gone. Let's get that off of there. No sense in sitting here fighting over this darn thing when I've got plenty of wire that I can use. And I think that's actually going to be a good length, so I'm just going to leave it. Tin it up. Trim that so that it doesn't get too long into that caddix. There we go. Bring the caddix around. get ready to solder this into there. Perfect. Okay, now. Okay, now I understand. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, um, these can't use, so you've got four of these, one, two, if you had six it'd be easier, so if you have four, actually I'm not that worried about it, hold on. Yeah, I mean this is this is fine. I don't see a problem here at all. There's no need. Let me get his uh, little fasteners here because honestly, there's no need to worry about this. So let's just put this one on. It sits. It definitely sits above the receiver, so it's not having to worry. I wouldn't worry about that. And yeah, there's plenty of room. And crushing it down like that is not going to really help anything. So let me just let's just put this here. Put this here. Bring these wires in. There we go. This is going to be much nicer. Guaranteed, this is going to be the way to go. All right, so let's just... I think we have different size screws here, but that's all right. Nobody ever... The drone didn't ever break because of different size screws, so... That's just cosmetic, and rightfully so. We shouldn't care about it too much. Oh, perfect. As long as we keep everything even, we're golden. Okay, so now we'll take this one this here all we want to do is make sure we keep our wires out of the way so like in this case we're going to take that power wire just kind of tuck it over there there we go this way we can send this through here because it goes flying 
wait. No, I'll just grab this one for now. Let me put this here. Ooh, I missed. Okay, there. Is that it? Why does it want to fight with me? All right, let me get my other tweezers. These will be easier to use. Come here, little sucker. There we go. Move that out of the way. Push that out of the way there. Ooh. Look, what is the fight? Why are you fighting me here? There we go. Okay. A million easier ways to do it than what I just did, but I'm being hard-headed right now. It's personal. It's me versus the machine. Okay, let's put this one on. Okay, we got one more, but I did a little red. There it is, perfect. Last spacer right here. Let's go ahead and get that ready. And this time I will be more, uh, well, I'll just use successful because, come on, get in there. If I take it back, maybe I won't be, hold on. And the worst part is I know I could just lay this down and do it, but it's like, now it's personal. Now it's me and the machine. So now I gotta fight. So let's just. It is. Okay. Put that one up. Okay, so are we straight? Everything looks straight. Everything's perfect. I think this looks great. Okay, we've got our power wire that we're going to attach. We've got our XT60 that we could send to the back. As a matter of fact, let's just make it easier. Let's feed our camera to the XT60. Just like that. Just got to do a little, 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 uh, perfect. A little parkour right there. Okay, we're going to bring, ah, well, you know what? I'll just desolder that. So, of course, I, uh, did this in such a way to where the ground has to be desoldered and brought around, so let's do that. So there's our ground wire. We're gonna bring that over here. Okay, let me turn this around. Battery wire for our right to there. Beautiful and beautiful. Now we are cooking with grease. Okay, so now we've got our stuff set here. Everything's secure here. We can go ahead and put this back in like so. Take this right here. Man, we are golden, golden, golden. I like it better, it's cleaner. Um, looking back over here, I can tighten that down a little bit. I can see where there's a little bit of space I have left to tighten it down, there it goes. Again, I'll tighten that one down, perfect, man. I mean, this sucker is just ready to go. Okay, now, now that we've got this done, let's see what we've got set up, okay? So let's plug into Betaflight, I'll show you the screen. Oh, I need the USB-C, which is... Somewhere in this area is a USB-C cable. Aha, right here. Perfect. Um, no, no. Okay, there we go. So let's get in here and let's see what we got. Let's connect. <coughs> uh, yeah, that responds well. Let's go to ports. Hmm. What the hell? 
Okay, so here's one of the big problems right here is, so far he has none of the ports activated to make this work. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we've got, um, actually that's not true, yeah, no, no, I see, I see. Uh, I don't know why he did that. Hmm, I'm not sure that it'll work that way, but no. Wait, 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 R1, this should be here. This should be here. And this, but, but you can't because I could have sworn that four was for the ESC telemetry. Let me see. What is that? TX, isn't it four? You know what? I think I even have the. I think I have the, the stupid manual for this thing from another one I was working on. All right, I think this might be. Let's look, because I'm pretty sure this is it here. So four is DJI, six is ESC. So whoops. So go over here, ESC. Uh, one is receiver. Two is GPS, which I don't see connected to this thing at all. So GPS is out. Three would be smart audio if he's using smart audio. I'm just gonna sh put it just so that we can see it. Oh, and it's not gonna make a difference here. But this is most likely why he couldn't get his stuff to work is his ports are set up wrong. All right, so now let's continue and see what we got. Reset, calibrate. Now, let's go ahead and get the quad ready to power up. Hopefully we don't have anything explode on us. That's nice. And let's power up our radio. Okay, let's go to receiver. Okay, so let's go to config. Whoops, no wait, receiver. And we have to go to crossfire. Save and reboot. Oh, it doesn't even have the port set up for this. Oh, this is for a sector. So let's go. Uh, no, that's not where we want to be. So let's go to uh, uh, return. And then let's go to, oh, man. Oh, it's this one. Okay, let's select a model. So we've got a sector, sector 5. And we're going to select that model. Now that should turn on our TBS. Excellent. And we should have excellent. And we should soon... Come on, I know you want to do it. Let's just do it. Let's just, come on, make it work. Uh, save. I'm gonna power this off. <clears throat> okay, well, let's at least grab my goggles and see if we can even get video. Let's find and make sure we can get telemetry, then I'll deal with the other part here in just a second because I've got two different issues and I've got a green I power this down I want to see that light yes enter yes okay light is red so it does detect that it's gone all right so let's power up our goggles let's go to our configuration 
Uh, we don't need any of these. Uh, we don't have LEDs on here. We do need OSD. We don't need that. And we can say save and reboot. So we didn't have OSD turned on anyway. So now let's bind. And we have our battery voltage. All right, so, so far so good. Let's go to our OSD here and let's go ahead and throw up another battery voltage if you want, right in the, uh, let's put that up here. Let me make sure I see it, and I do. This is perfect. So OSD was not turned on, not sure what happened there. Um, but now it is, and everything's working good there. So we know that that part is good. All right, so now the only problem is what's happened to his receiver. So we have, we have the port tab set right at, at serial one. Okay. We have the link here, but we have no data coming in. Now why the hell not? All right, so let's turn this off. Let's unplug this. We solved one problem right off the bat. Now the question is what happened to the other part. So T4, R4, T1, R1. Five volt and ground. We go into his settings. He's got his settings here. Matter of fact, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to take my USB-C here. I just, I'm just curious because I'm wondering, plug this in. And now I'm curious if I can, where's my bookmark? Let's go to TBS agent. I just want to see this real quick. Okay, let's connect the receivers. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? oh sorry, my, it's my, um, oops. Give me one second here.
All right, so I know this is wired right. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to check the channels. So let me go back again and see. Uh, because I think now, so uh, let me see. What happened? Oh, I guess that's coming out. So let me actually let me turn. I can turn that off for now. guys sorry still doing sorry guys but I've got to do do not disturb again all right so let me go back in oh 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 hey, hey all right looks like we are cooking with grease so what does he have as his switches that's weird. All right. So problem here was that the channel mapping was wrong. So let me just show you guys. Um, when we hold system down, we go to crossfire configuration, right? And then we go to nano RX. So what he had, these were wrong. Um, so actually, initially, this was set to S bus when I first got in it. And then I put it back to one, two, three, and four. And then I remember that we have to put these back. So this went, I need to put this back to TX, this to RX and leave everything else. And now, uh, this is working perfect. So now we have activity on there, but what's weird to me is that he I don't know how he's doing his mode So let me look at his modes real quick. So we've got arming here But this is a three-way switch and I don't understand why this is not recognizing a three-way switch So I'm gonna set that aside now. I want to work on his radio a little bit. So let's go. Oh my god uh, I always have to remember how to do this. So let's go to Page next, page next, page next. Uh, okay. So let's edit this one. This is going to be arm, arm. And this is... Okay, that's fine. Let's return, return. Now we're going to do here. We're going to set this one to mode. buttons his switches are broken so this switch has no use and this switch has no I wonder what's wrong all right anyway so yeah so these don't work does this one work this one works so these are out of commission so we're gonna use this switch here for his mode okay and then we're gonna go whoops no 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 return return damn it I hate when I do that by accident let's go to delete here let's do this now Okay, let's go to seven, and this will be our fail safe. All right, for fail safe, I don't even know what switches work anymore. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this one for fail safe, SB, okay? So let's do that. And now let's head over to the next page and let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this and let's set them up properly. So let's do that. Spell arm A R. I think I can turn my soldering iron off, oh my gosh. M. Okay, return, return, and then this is gonna be mode. So, M, hey, 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 M, O, D, E, return, return, and then this one will be fail, F, A, I, 
Yeah, return, return. Awesome. Now, now when we go here, look at that. Now we have a three position switch, man. Now we are cooking with grease. Check this out. I get my mouse to work. Come on. Okay, so now we're gonna delete this and we're just gonna say add range. Check this out. We gotta. Hey. Hey, where'd you go? Everyone, let's go. There we go. Three positions. Middle and on. Okay. Auxiliary two, which is I don't even know what auxiliary two is. Ah, oh, perfect. So he's got horizon, angle horizon, and then for this one we are going to put uh, air mode. And we are going to put that over here. And in that position, he will have auxiliary two. Isn't that not auxiliary two? Crap, what was it? I could have sworn it was auxiliary two. It was auxiliary two. What's wrong with you? All right, let's move this here. And let's just see. There we go. So this will be air mode with acro. This is going to be horizon mode, right? Yep. And this, this is completely backwards of how I do it, but that's fine. Um, OK, now he's got something else set here, which is going to be beeper. And beeper is going to be our fail safe. So we're going to take this and we're going to say that's auxiliary three. And here is beeper. And then fail safe will be auxiliary three. And that's going to be here. We're going to go here. Look at that, man. We are golden. So now really it just comes to, oops, God darn it. So now it just comes down to testing it and making sure everything fits. He's got OSD now, which is what he wanted. Okay. Um, he's got his receiver and his everything working properly now like it's supposed to and in about two seconds we're gonna get these motors to spin up make sure they're going the right direction and we should be golden so let's give it a shot so let's click save all right let's go down to motors let's go ahead and get this sucker going okay all right let's go ahead and there we go uh, motor four motor one motor three motor two everything's working perfect Let's stop that. Let's go to one. Oh my goodness, look at that though. It's a darn good thing I checked. One, two, what the hell? Three, and four. No way. Can't tell me this. So four spins two, three spins one. Oh man, sir, what happened? Uh, okay, so four, okay, fine. And he's got them, so Hold on, I gotta see this again. This kind of caught me off guard, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. One spins three. Two spins four. Okay, so he's got the ESC flipped upside down. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say like this. Let's go on over now to our CLI. Let's do the simple resource. Okay. And here's what we know. We're gonna take these four. And we're gonna say copy. And we'll go open Notepad. Who cares? Run. Uh, I thought Notepad would be here. There it is. Okay, and let's just paste it here. And what we said is one spins four, so we're going to go to one and make it four. Uh, no, wait. One spins three. Two spins four. Three spins one. And four spins two. Let's take that. Copy. Come over here. Pew, pew. Paste. Hit enter. Type save. And let's see if we're cooking with grease now. So here we go. Let's connect. Okay. And let's go to motors. And let's get ready. And let's go one. Perfect. Two. Perfect. Three. Perfect. Four. And we're cooking with grease. This couldn't be any better. I love it. So now we could simply arm. Woo. Oops. Do arm. Yep. Thank you. I think we exceeded the um, I think we exceeded the amp pull on my uh, <laughs> my poor much of a flotchy here. Hold on, yeah, we our our smoke stopper has a limit, and we 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 killed it. So let's arm, and then let's switch to sweet. So look at our modes, see, and then flip bar. That would be our beeper if we had a beeper, and this would be our failsafe. Perfect. Everything is now working like a champion. Good Lord, we are done, guys. That's another one. Finished it with the Sector 5. Hope this gentleman's happy. I, I think he's going to love it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and save, close, and turn the power off. So this is done. I mean, everything is perfect on here now. Some of the wires were backwards. Um, <coughs> sorry, some of the configuration uh, was wrong. The wiring wasn't actually backwards. It was just not consistent. So what I would advise to you guys always is try to remember to 
stick it with a color that you know. We all know red is uh, power, right? Red is positive, we all know that. Um, we all know black is ground. So find the colors that make sense to you. So for me, blue or white is TX, and, um, and, uh, and yellow and orange is RX, okay? Or S bus, for example. Once you pick your colors, and you know that's how it's gonna be, your wiring should always be identical. Don't, I mean, stay consistent with it. Um, as, for, as for this build here, uh, this sucker is golden. I mean, like, I'm very excited. Uh, a few little minor tweaks, uh, and uh, everything's humming along perfect. So we're gonna close it up, put it back together, and uh, send this back on its way to its home so the gentleman can enjoy some nice flying times. Uh, other than that, guys, I love what I do. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you from the bottom of my heart to all of you guys that support me, support my family, I love what I do. I love doing this. Um, and my phone won't stop ringing, but I gotta stop it. Uh, and it is an honor to work for you guys and do this work for those that appreciate it, okay? And I will continue to provide those services to those who appreciate it. And to the other guys, I am sending them on their way somewhere else. We are going to scale down, folks, so that I can do much more customization. I got 200 sheets of carbon fiber in there that I'm getting ready to cut. And I'm going to do some amazing things that you guys, not even drone stuff. I'm doing some awesome drone frames, don't get me wrong, but imagine this. I got a patent. I just got my patent approved for our, uh, it's called the CP, uh, CFX, Carbon Fiber X. The X is for a, a center of polycarbonate. I'm about to make a, 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 a cool uh, a cool set of things. I don't even want to spoil it right now. I'll just show you guys. But with the patents that we got, man, we're about to rock and roll. So I want to have some fun, but I only want to focus on the ones that give us uh, give us the respect as well. So God bless. Be safe. Go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later to my kids and my wife. I will see you all in a little bit. It is Friday. It is time to have fun. Peace. Bye.